This is the MacWheel 16 inch electric bike. It has a foldable design and it is fairly lightweight at 40 pounds. The battery is concealed, which makes this look a lot more like your average compact foldable bike. The motor is not large and so it also looks quite concealed. Out of the box, the setup is really simple for this. It came shipped in a single box and required basically almost no setup at all. After you remove the packing material, really the only thing that I had to do was unfold the handlebar and set that up and then screw on the pedals. And the bike comes with a tool for helping to install the pedals. The bike can be fully charged in about four hours and it has enough battery power to drive up to almost 20 miles when you're only using the electric power. The bike is designed in a way that the handlebars can be folded so that the handlebars don't get in the way if you want to load it in a car or put it in the trunk or something like that. Honestly, this Mack Wheel bike doesn't really look like an electric bike as all of the electronic components are hidden really well. The seat is easy to adjust and it can go up quite high and is very comfortable. This bike also comes with front and rear disc brakes that didn't require any adjustment on my part. Riding this bike is fairly straightforward. There are three modes. The first mode is you can basically just ride it as you would any bicycle where you pedal it yourself and it doesn't use any power at all. The second mode is opposite that where you don't have to pedal at all. You can just turn the power on and you can just use it 100% as an electric bike where it doesn't require anything on your part. And the third mode is kind of a hybrid where when you start pedaling, it kicks the motor on and it's the pedal assist mode. So you're both pedaling and it's pushing you along using the motor. This last pedal assist mode is actually my preferred mode to ride this electric bike because it really helps you when you're starting out pedaling from a stop position. It also really helps reduce the load on the motor when you are going up a hill. The bike has a 250 watt motor and a 36 volt 7.5 amp hour battery. The bike can support up to 260 pounds and it can go about 20 miles on level ground or over 30 miles if you are using the pedal assist mode. Overall, riding this bike feels just like riding a normal bike does. When you use only human power, it's really obvious that this weighs more than a non-electric bike, but it is still quite easy to ride. The bike pedals and turns just like a normal bike does, and it feels very natural and normal. The motor really helps with starting from a stopped position, and it especially helps when you're going uphill. So here's a clip of me going all the way up a large and steep hill. Normally a hill like this would take a lot more effort on my part, and I'd end up probably going really slow near the top, but with the motor assist turned on, it took much less effort on my part and I was able to go up the hill without slowing down very much. I haven't had any major issues with this bike. Really, the only one issue I had was I did not know how to turn on the headlamp. So I reached out to Mackwell and just told him, hey, how do you turn on the light? And they told me you press and hold the plus button down. Really, the only thing I think I would like to see improved on this bike is the gear. The gear it has is only a single gear and it's a quite low and slow gear. So when you're pedaling at top speed, I really couldn't get much faster than about 15 miles an hour. I kind of max out about 15 to 17 miles an hour where I was just pedaling as fast as I could. So it's not really a nice high gear. If the fixed gear was a little higher, then you could use the electric motor for starting out on a really tough gear, but then once you get up to cruising speed, you could actually use that higher gear to boost you to a faster speed, like say 20 miles an hour and more, so you can actually get more speed on this bike. As it is, you kind of max out about 15 miles an hour, which is a decent cruising speed, but I like to go faster. Overall, I have enjoyed this bike. It's really fun to have an electric bike. My wife likes it as well. It's just a fun thing to ride around, cruise around town, do whatever. 